In this presentation, you will learn about the logon process in three situations with a global catalog server, without a global catalog server, and with universal group membership caching enabled. After viewing this presentation, you will be able to discuss the role of group membership in authentication and authorization, describe how universal group membership is stored in the global catalog, discuss the role of the global catalog during authentication and authorization, determine when to place a global catalog server at a remote site, Determine when to enable universal group membership caching. Group membership is an essential part of user authentication and authorization. When a user attempts to log on, the KDC or Key Distribution Center on the domain controller that authenticates the user's logon must provide the SIDs or security identifiers for each domain-based group that the user is a member of. These SIDs and the SIDs for local groups that the user is a member of are used to authenticate the user and provide access to resources. The global catalog contains different information for different types of groups. When the domain functional level is Windows 2000 native or later, members in universal groups can be accounts or groups from any domain. Universal groups can also provide access to resources in any domain. A global catalog contains the entire group membership list for universal groups. Members in global groups can only be accounts or groups from the domain in which the group is created. Global groups can provide access to resources in any domain. The global catalog does not contain the entire membership list for global groups. Members in domain local groups can be accounts or groups from any domain. However, domain local groups can only provide access to resources in the domain in which the group is created. The global catalog does not contain the entire membership list for domain local groups. Because in a universal group, the membership and resources are not necessarily from the user's logon domain, and the membership is stored in the global catalog. The global catalog must be available to ensure that the universal groups that the user is a member of are included in the user's list of SIDs. When the global catalog is available, the authentication and authorization process proceeds like this. The user enters credentials at a workstation to log on. The credentials are encrypted by the client and sent to a domain controller for the client's domain. The encrypted credentials that the client sends are matched with the encrypted credentials on the domain controller. The KDC stores the encrypted user credentials. If the credentials from the client match the credentials that are stored by the KDC, the process continues. The domain controller creates a list of the domain-based groups that the user belongs to. The domain controller then queries the global catalog to identify the universal groups that the user belongs to. The KDC issues the client a TGT, or Ticket Granting Ticket. The TGT contains the encrypted SIDs for the groups that the user is a member of. The user is now authenticated and can request access to resources. The client requests access to a resource, which resides on a specific server. The client uses the TGT to access the TGS, or Ticket Granting Service, on the domain controller. The TGS issues a session ticket to the client for the server on which the resource resides. The session ticket contains the SIDs for the user's group memberships. The client presents the session ticket to the server. The LSA, or Local Security Authority, on the server uses the information in the session ticket to create an access token. The LSA compares the SIDs in the access token with the groups that are assigned permissions in the resources DACL, or Discretionary Access Control List. If they match, the user is granted access to the resource. When a global catalog server is not available, the KDC cannot obtain the SIDs for the universal groups of which the user is a member. In such cases, the KDC does not issue a TGT for the user because the unavailable universal groups may be named in an explicit deny permission in a resources DACL. If the KDC issued a TGT that did not include universal group membership for the user, it might compromise security. The global catalog must be available for the user to obtain a TGT. 
TGTs are valid for eight hours by default. After a session ticket is granted, a user can use it until he logs off or the session ticket expires. This is true even if the global catalog becomes unavailable during that time. When the global catalog is not available, the user's universal group membership cannot be enumerated and the user cannot log on. However, if no domain controllers are available, the user can log on to a workstation if the user's domain credentials are cached on that computer. Universal group membership caching is available on domain controllers running Microsoft Windows Server 2003. You can configure universal group membership caching for a site and enable domain controllers within that site to service logon requests for repeat users that are in the same site. When a user logs on at a remote site without a global catalog, universal group membership is cached as follows. The first time the user logs on to the local site, the domain controller contacts a global catalog server on the WAN or Wide Area Network. The global catalog returns the user's universal group membership, which is cached on the domain controller. During subsequent logons, the domain controller resolves the user's universal group membership at the local site by using the cached information, which is refreshed every eight hours by default. The benefits of enabling universal group membership caching at a remote site without a global catalog server include Authentication is not dependent on a WAN link to a global catalog. Authentication traffic for repeat users does not use a WAN. The local resolution of universal group membership improves logon times. Because there is no global catalog at the remote site, the WAN link does not need to replicate the entire global catalog.